All right. So next concept that we are going to cover is something called work party or work participant. Okay. So <clears throat> what is a work party? See, uh, when you process a request or a complaint or anything related to the case, any business process, it has a few stakeholder in that, right? Few stakeholder like who is the customer, right? A uh, stakeholder like who is the reviewing manager, stakeholders like um, who are interested in that case, who need to be kept updated, right? Uh, who is the owner of that case, right? Who created that case, things like that. So uh, in Pega, we have a special type of rule to manage such things, and that we call data. Uh, that we call party, work party. Okay. So if you go into your case definition, and in the process category, you will see work parties. So basically, that that is uh, from the back end. But if you even open your case and go to the setting tab, you all will see a setting related to the participants see so here we define the roles the stakeholders that we are not adding someone here we are just defining which uh, which role is available on that particular case so unless you have a role defined you cannot add a work party by, with that name so here we have i mean pega automatically creates that when you set up a case it has a customer role defined and customer is a person this is what it is defined and of course, there is a data transform that sets up the property of that particular role. Okay, so we will talk about that. Then it says that allow multiple participants. So can there be more than one customer in a case? So in that case, you will say allow. Otherwise, you will not. Then there is an option create participant automatically when the case starts. So what happens uh, when you start the case, Pega will automatically run this data transform and create the participant, add the participant in the case okay so that's one view of it see this one is interested this is multiple allowed right but if you want to look at the back end so work parties this is the py case management default work party rule this has the definition in a different way same definition nothing else okay so the name the role this is the label this is the role this is the actual role um, which class so data party is a pega provided class that has that supports the definition of different type of parties okay so there are person there are operator there are other stuff as well so if you want to let me just show you that quickly so see com any company can be participant as well right can be stakeholder of a case uh, any government institution can be participant of a case any operator the operators on pega can be participant of the case any other uh, non-profit organization can be participant on the case and person, any individual can be participant on the case. So these are predefined uh, categories or basically classes, predefined uh, capability that the PEGA offers for the parties. All right, so these properties basically uh, provide different different processes which can be relevant. So for example, correspondence, uh, any validation, right? This is the validation for a person. Uh, so there could be several functionalities of feature depending upon the parties type, right? So th these are one, two, three, four, four, five. Five standard parties defined there, okay? Then, after you specify the class, you will say the subject that is okay. Um, data transform the data transform help us create that party, it executes to create the party. Okay, voice over entry. So, this option allows the user to add the participant at the beginning of the case if you have selected that. Okay, and required means that you need that participant in order to proceed. Got it? So, um we are going to use this one back and one first okay so we are going to define a party uh, let's say customer itself okay we have the work party customer because we are uh, basically dealing with the new account right so this is going to be the customer and we want a customer to be added as a party okay so at the beginning when you start the case you do not have the customer data right 
So Pega will not be able to automatically add the customer data. You will have to trigger to add it. So how do we do that? That's the second part I will explain. Now, if I want to say that accountant or uh, bank representative, okay? Bank rep, okay? So there's going to be one participant for the bank rep. And this is going to be operated, the person who is creating the case. Let's say that's, that's the person. So this is going to be bank representative. current operator so whoever will create the case that person will be added see all it needs is work party URL that is very important and party notified forms so this person will be added as a bank rep right away so if I changed here the case will reflect here too if I refresh it this is exactly the same so this is the visual representation See, bank rep, and this is required. All right, so let's create the case and see how does it work. So see, Pega automatically created me because I was the user who created, I am the user who created the account. It automatically added me as a bank rep. All right. The other way to call, um, other way to add is trigger that on an action. So, for example, the customer data will only be available after after uh, basically we submit the first case, right? So, let me switch to another application to explain you that that has the detail form, okay? I don't have that screen configured so leave it just then is it complete Oh yeah. Oh sorry. Here we have the data of the customer, right? But unless and until we select a customer, we don't know who is going to be the customer, right? Mm -hmm. So after this step only we can have the customer defined, correct? So we will have to once user submits this, we will have to add the work party. But we got to de uh, define that well in advance in order to be able to add a customer participant. So customer participant is already there. We will use this one. Um, but it is it is a person that is okay as well, but we will use our own uh, basically data transform. So we will do what we will copy this and save as this one. Okay, uh, new party instead of that new customer I will name it. You can create your own data transform. Okay, create and open, and there we will populate the data of the customer. Okay. So this is ready. Uh, I mean not ready. I'll come back to this. But in this case, we are fetching the data using a data page, right? This one. Yeah. This is the data page that we are using. All right, so what we will do is in that uh, for the work party URI, the name is going to be your T get employee details. And parameter. Is employee ID. that we will take from another parameter okay
okay dot so if you look at this let's say that this is this is the URI okay family B you got to add email as well dot py email one this is the same email ID you got to add first name and last name as well first name last name maybe py username full name all right so this is first name last name and then full name is going to be first name plus plus last name okay Any time is ambiguous. Oh, yeah, this is out of the box, but let's just wrap it up. Okay, right. now let's define this customer person and instead of that we will use new customer okay save now we will have to call an activity so there is an out of the box activity okay that uh, help us add participant when the case is already in execution okay so we will open this flow action in the flow action in the post action we're going to call that activity okay and it is called add work object party Alright, so this is going to ask you provide certain details, the roles that we are going to use. Customer, right? So it's going to ask some parameters. So this is customer. Party class is going to be data party person party model that's the data transform okay new customer and that's it save it now when i run this okay i also need to provide a parameter for that employee id or i can do one thing I can read that directly from the work page okay so param dot imp id equals to pi work page work hyphen so any page like this oh no i need to complete page in this case there is other way to optimize this but the moment we will learn the basic one customer and this is going to be py dot page dot employee id let's see now when you run a case Select an employee.
create the case you will see customer is created so with your flow action added this okay you can see the details by the way you click on this see email and all that name full name username right you can modify that as well see all the details that i provided from that okay so this is the work party that we leverage for various purpose in a case you can send the approval to a participant okay right you can send email to participants so we use them for the correspondence for actions for several purpose so in this particular exercise we just learned what the uh, what the data party or basically work party is how to create them automatically as well as on the uh, at basically after reaching certain point right and how to basically test that all right